We are just three days away from the Colorado taking the national spotlight in the Rocky Mountain Showdown. Buffs, of course, take on the Rams at Folsom Field Saturday night. I want you to take a look at the scene here at Folsom Field early this morning. <laughs> look at that line. Those are Ooh. students lining up for tickets. <laughs> Some students, they told us they got to the box office at 10 o'clock last night and spent the night to make <laughs> sure they got a ticket to the game. To be part of like this time at CU is great. It's awesome. I definitely agree with that. It's definitely a blessing. Getting to witness all this greatness at the school is just surreal. And it's about time and clearly demand for the game is sky high. Huge crowds are expected in Boulder this weekend and of course with more people, comes more concerns about crime. So Boulder police are taking extra steps to protect fans as the city right now is seeing an uptick in violent crime. Denver 7's Claire Lavazorio talked to the department about just how they're preparing. While Folsom Field wasn't safe from a frenzy of fans, <laughs> police are working to protect the streets ahead of Saturday's showdown with Boulder center stage. The streets aren't what they used to be. Although you'll still find Peter Water serving customers on the streets of downtown Boulder. What can we get you to start off today? At his restaurant, Tiaco. We had a gentleman who we refused to serve just based on being visibly intoxicated. He revealed a very sizable machete with a blade about that long. Boulder Police Crime Map data backs up what Waters is witnessing. Violent crime in the city is up every month, dating back to January 2021. The only exception last month in August, we saw a slight drop. The department attributing that to the pilot run of their reimagined policing plan. More than two thirds of that violent crime was reported in the downtown mall area where Waters two restaurants are located. We often see increases in crime when we have an influx of people into the city. Not only violent crime, says Dion Waugh with Boulder Police, but property crime as well. That's why there will be double, even triple the amount of officers out for Saturday's Rocky Mountain showdown, along with support from neighboring departments to keep up. You will see officers. There will also be officers that you won't see in plainclothes assignments um, as part of our public safety efforts. Water says the more eyes, the better to stop the trend in its tracks. I'm confident that the more people we see downtown, whether it's a game day or any of the other many activities that downtown Boulder puts on, it's a good thing for us. In Boulder, Claire Lavazorio for Denver 7. So let's go in depth here on Boulder's reimagined policing plan. Last month, Boulder police unveiled the new strategy, a strategy they say would stop the problems before they happen. So instead of taking more people to jail, it's going to focus on getting officers out in the community. They're going to hire 14 additional officers and allow them to spend 40% of their shifts on prevention, on problem solving. And while it won't be in place for this weekend's game, the department does hope it's going to make a big impact in the future. As opposed to our, our typical put a couple of cops down here, walking back and forth, giving tickets and taking people to jail. We know that that's, that's a short-term solution. We need to start looking at long-term. Boulder City Council voted unanimously in support of this plan last week. Now, it still has to be funded before it can be fully implemented. And while police prepare for big crowds on Saturday, state leaders are preparing for big impacts from the game. Governor Jared Polis joined Congressman Jonah Goose, both from the Boulder area, along with CSU's President Amy Parsons and CU's Chancellor Phil DiStefano today to highlight the impacts of having Colorado on a national stage. Polis says the Rocky Mountain Showdown goes far beyond football. Talking about, yes, football, but also the academic and research programs of our world tier universities uh, in Fort Collins and Boulder. As we like to say, you might come for the football, but you stay for the education and the research opportunities. And we will have much more on how teams are preparing for Saturday's big game. That's coming up a little bit later in sports.